Hey everyone! In this video, I'll convert this cheap plastic skeleton into a talking skeleton for Halloween. This skeleton works nice because the jaw is on a hinge like this, and it should be easy to control with a servo. I've gone ahead and cut holes into the eyes using this Dremel. If you've ever played the game Dead Space, this part will probably give you post-traumatic stress disorder. I also cut a hole around the base of the skull to make it easier to access the inside. This way I can run some LEDs to each one of these eye holes. And I also have access to the inside of the joint where the jaw connects. The first thing that I did was solder some resistors to some LEDs. The exact amount of resistance you need depends on the LEDs and also the amount of power you're supplying, but you'll pretty much always need a resistor. Next, I soldered the positive leads of the LEDs together, and then I soldered the negative ends after the resistor together as well. After that, I soldered this connector wire to make it easier to plug into. You don't have to use a connector like this. Any wires that you can access will work. Once I got the LEDs in place, I secured them with a bit of electrical tape. Even at this point, it's already pretty spooky looking. To control the jaw, I'll use some 180 degree servos. I got mine from Kittronic. My original plan was to glue them directly to the hinge of the jaw, but this didn't work out too well. The servo had so much torque that it snapped the glue no matter how much I applied. So what I ended up doing was drilling a small hole through the jaw hinge and running a paper clip through that and securing it on the outside with a bit of super glue. Then I secured the inside portion of the paper clip to the arm of the servo. That way when the servo arm moves, the jaw moves. Pretty simple, right? I secured the servo to the inside of the skull using a generous portion of hot glue. And to test it out, I'm using this parallax propeller activity board to drive the servos and the LEDs. And here it is in action. Very spooky. Now that I have a programmable jaw, I can combine it with things like a motion sensor to have the jaw snap whenever someone walks by. Or synchronize the snapping of the jaw with audio to make the skeleton talk or laugh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for what I can do with this skeleton, let me know in the comments. But until next time, bye!